Hi there guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 with me Sneaky Psycho 91 Now you might notice there's not a lot of sound coming from the actual game itself. That is because this is the time where I had a bit of a issue with audio recording. So I have no gameplay and I have none of my previous narration which is a little bit frustrating to say the least. But um, So yeah, this is a retrospective recording of what I did um, before before that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the um, previous videos at all, but um, since recording this I've seen the um, Sims 4 release, and um, yeah, safe to say I'm pretty excited, safe to say. Um, but I'll, I'll be intrigued to see what they show at E3 and um, sort of mid-June when they do the live broadcast of Island Paradise as well, that'll be pretty cool. So yeah, um, everyone's been sent to bed at the moment, which is um, it's pretty normal, pretty normal, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of what happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so at this point, I think the two um, older ones have grown up. Um, I've noticed that BB has a fine arts degree for some reason. Um, so yeah, at this point I think because they've grown up I'm starting the I'm starting the careers for the young adults now. Well, Victoria's career at least and Jamie is um got his celebrity level five, from what I remember. Keep in mind this is a very long time since I started recording. I've just noticed she's got rubbish in her um inventory. Why would she be holding that in her inventory? It's a bit weird. Why have been flirted with a ghost? That is... that is odd. Definitely doesn't feel right without the um, sound on it, I won't lie. I keep getting those messages about dates as well, it's quite, um, definitely quite annoying because it's pretty much, the more the more people you have as well and like the more, the more traits you have that make you approachable, like if you're irresistible or charming or charismatic, then you just get inundated with calls to say, do you want to go on a date? And it's just really annoying, it's like, no I don't want to go on a date, I'm married. And it's married people asking other married people to go on dates. What sort of town is this? It's, 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 it's pretty much like a swinging town almost, almost like a swinging town. I will not lie. And I get all these messages about having so much in common as well. Again, married man. Actually, no, that's um. Depends on who it is. Mostly, these people are married, and it's just. It can be a little bit frustrating. Because, you know, my, my people don't want to flirt. As you can see, there was a celebrity opportunity there, but I thought, no, wait until Jamie can get the opportunities because he'll benefit more from it. Um, but yeah, if you get him out into the community, there's um, Morgana Wolf here. Because um, she's a celebrity, if you become friends with her, that sort of ups your celebrity level and you know, it gets you up there faster, which is which is pretty awesome. Um oh yeah, and they got something in common apparently, which is nice, I guess. <laughs> um So yeah. Basically what you need to be doing is when you have the the best way to make friends on this game is to try and figure out what um what their traits are. Um, you can do it without necessarily finding out their traits, so if like, you have a normal conversation with them, it'll come up with the um, sign that says um, so-and-so found out that their friend, their acquaintance is this, so say that they come up with the trait um, Morgana is a workaholic, you can then tailor the conversation to um, tailor the conversation so that they like you more, so say she is a workaholic, you can say applaud hard work and she'll appreciate that because that's like Re reflected by our traits. Um, 
which I find quite useful, I won't lie. Really do find it useful. I used to I really used to hate doing the charisma um skill skill levels because it meant like going and making friends and it just seemed like a lot of effort considering that they had to um keep up their basic needs as well. And Penny's feeling a bit lonely, so I thought get Jamie over to talk to her. I still don't know who put that whoopee cushion down. I really don't know. But what I've done now is I've taken the um, newspaper and I'm going through it to read where the hot spots are. Because where you have hot spots, you're more likely to firstly see celebrities. So you, then you can socialise with them and make that easier for your um basically make your um celebrity level increase much faster but if it is a hot spot as well you can um you can base you can quite simply just get more people there which um which yeah is re is really useful because they'll recognize you and ask your autograph and that increases your celebrity status anyway so yeah, I can't remember what club this is. I love the way the clubs are set out in this world. Full credit to um, to the, to the user that can can like contributed this to Carl Sims Three. If you haven't seen the first video, then I recommend going to CarlSims Three dot com and looking up the um, Sunset Valley with all the expansion and stuff packs in it because. Or at least all the expansion packs, because it is such a useful thing to have everything in one sitting, with the exception of like store bought venues and specialised ones. It's really, it really is useful. Another thing you can do as well, as I think I did it over here, is you can find the paparazzi, and um, you can sort of try and draw their attention. So you know, if no one else is there and. You're like, come on, somebody say hi to me, somebody give me a discount, somebody do this, somebody do that. Um, so what you can basically do then is you can say, um, you know, draw attention to yourself. And you'll just be walking around as normal and then the paparazzi will say, that's some juicy stuff, I have to take some snaps, like she is now. And there we go, draw attention. And there it goes. Oh wow, it's Jamie Jewell and he's doing something juicy. I have to get a shot of this. And apparently I'm now a nerd. I don't know how the hell I did that. Do this me just checking the celeb um if you go into the um about tab for the Sims 3 you can um check the celebrity journal so you can see how far you need to go to get to the next level and how many times you've, for example, had a discount or had something for free, or how much you've had discounted in total, autographs, falsely accused of stuff, public disgrace, um, everything related to celebrity, really, which kind of all in turn increases your status. Because at the end of the day, people still know who you are. And as you can see there, I can't, I can't, I really, really can't remember from the last video, but. As you can see there, Sam has completed his lifetime wish, which is pretty awesome. That's another one ticked off my list, which I did find in a cleanup. I did find my list in a cleanup, so I'm very, very happy now. Well, before I started this let's play, I um, put down a list of every single lifetime wish that I'd be going through in in the actual series. So um, I now use that, and it stays by my computer whilst I just cross everything off. It's like my mecca. Which reminds me I can't see it. And as you can see there, it's the younger twin's birthday today. So they're going to become teenagers. One step closer to young adult. They grow up so fast. They do. They do. Oh, I just feel so old. Like one day when she was pregnant and now they're almost teenagers. Oh, dear. Dearie, 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 dearie. Dearie. Deary, deary, deary. 
dairy. I don't know if you can see on the um, front doorstep there, but they've been left the um, the university starter pack, which um, you can use in the Sim 3 University expansion to um, basically take an aptitude test based on your traits, your skill levels and everything. And if your scores are high enough, you can get scholarships, um, credits towards a degree, which you can then use to go and like enroll on university. You can enroll in university regardless, but it's really helpful to say excuse me guys say that you haven't got any money it is really useful you see what I was trying to do here is just, a, a it gets him out of the house by doing this and b it also um, it, it, it's really useful in terms of like if they go out and the higher level you are the higher chance you have of getting a discount and um, if he gets a discount then um, yeah, that increases the level too. I can't understand where the heck he is at the moment though. Where is he? Where bloody hell is he? Is he just like... Is he Oh no, he's dump he's dump he's dumpster diving, that's it. Um yeah, that's another thing for university expansion pack as well. So if you really are stuck for cash or money or anything like that, you can just do a what's called a dumpster dive. So you just go into the dumpster and it takes down all of your um takes down like a load of your hygiene as you can see. But you do get some stuff from it. When I first um played university I had a character who um basically got a load of pretty much most of our house furniture from dumpster diving. It was it was pretty awesome. Amazing money saver. And if you saw there he got a um, discount from the day spa which is pretty awesome. Anything to help the level. And I went for a lifetime wish which was did I go for a lifetime wish? I'm not even sure I did. Oh yes, I did actually. I went for a map to the stars. Which, um, for those of you who don't know, what that does is, it, um, if you go into the map mode, there, by having the map to the stars in your inventory, you now have an option to look and see where all the celebrities are. So you can then go and chase the celebrities and make friends with them and... Um, Everything's hunky dory. And the other one I got there was eye candy. It's only a five thousand point one, but um it basically makes people like you a little bit more because you're eye candy. Candy for the eye. And this is some sort of downstairs bar thing which was it was it was pretty cool, pretty cool, I won't lie. Holy cow plants, this is the trendy spot in town right now. And BB's improved her charisma to level 10, so I don't have to worry about that anymore, which is a nice advantage because then the only time after that you have to hold a party is be when she needs campaign funding, which we will come on to later, I think. It's William's birthday! Yay! So he grows up. Because I did really well, I get to choose randomise another trait, which is life. Is that Lona? Ah, poor William. I don't want to deliver cookies. That just sounds stupid. You can see he's growing up now, and I can randomise a trait for him, which will be flirty. Ooh. Edward the Flirty Vampire. How about we find you someone called Bella? Yeah? You want to find someone called Bella? I didn't think so, to be honest. I, I really didn't think so. I 
Now the teenage vampires, I think they can still eat normal food, but they don't. When they get to young adult, that's when they start um, having problems in terms of they can't eat normal food and they have to have plasma fruit related things. Um, so yeah, that, that's a good thing to keep in mind, so you don't have to worry too much at the moment about oh my god, I've got to get loads more plasma fruit in for for the teenager because he's now a teenager, which is awesome. It's just BB that's got to worry now. It's alright, got loads of money. It's okay, it's okay. All the things you can do with this money. I like William, he's a little bit cute, isn't he? He's, he's like almost a little bit dorky but adorable, I think. Dorky but adorable William. That'll be his name. William Adorable but Dorky. Celebrity journal, so you can see I've not got too far to go to a level 3 celebrity, which is quite nice. Really is. Another way you can actually increase a celebrity status is through weddings. Um, it's a bit of an odd one, really, in terms of the weddings, because um, what you'll do is you'll like have a relationship with someone. And um, they'll become like your other half, and they'll get a celebrity level. And then... Um, you propose to them and both your celebrity levels increase and then when you get married both your celebrity levels increase again so it's effectively a very easy way of doing it which I should really consider I won't lie but I want to try and do this as much on his own as possible although to be honest the problem is when you have um, when you have a town without a pre um, a pre-organized set of celebrities and according to like different levels pretty much everyone's either one or two level celebrities which makes it really difficult to increase your own level through making friends and stuff so you have to we'd have to rely heavily on um, opportunities coming up so maybe marriage might have to be an option for William in the future he uh, sorry not William <laughs> Jamie in the future hey 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 interesting interesting thought sneaky very interesting thought So it's just the traditional end of day routine of sending people to bed because that's kind of what you do on a on a um what do you call it? On the end of a day. <laughs> that's the one. God love Penny, she is adorable. I haven't really spoken much about Penny this time round. Bless her. No. Actually, did I do that one? I should have done. As you can see there, it's someone's birthday as well. And someone's having a rebellious day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And you see the full festival is in motion, which is um, not something that interests me, in all honesty. And you see um, Victoria's now gone to go and... Oh, she's gone to work, actually, is she? Yeah, she's gone to work. Um, so she's going to go meet some new people and be a top neuroscientist in things. Because that's what you do. That is what you do at that stage. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. See, I've, I'm pretty much getting rid of all the celebrity opportunities for the others and sort of concentrating on Jamie at the moment for that. Just because that's how I feel it should be, really. <laughs> you know, in terms of doing the lifetime wish, at least. Yes, so... Yes, this is where the recording ends for this episode, but within the next episode, we shall be going through... Um, the rest of the lifetime wishes so until then i've been sneaky psycho 91 thanks for watching guys take care